so previously we have learned about this concept of mid surfacing we have learned its definition and why it is extracted and all the practical applications now we are going to learn how can we extract the mid surface in ansa software so now let's go to the software and learn about this so right now i am in ansa and we also have to go to the folder in your 2d folder 2d mesh folder go to folder of mid surface here you will have multiple files first of all let me open this file handle.stp file so i will do drag and drop so pick up this file hold down the left click and drag it like this click on open new file click on discard here now you can see we have our cad file now let's try to rotate this you can see this is basically a handle now for this handle let's check the dimensions if you zoom in here and and i will go to this dimension here measures and you have to go to this line pick up this line you can see 2.5 the dimension the thickness of this sheet is 2.5 mm okay and let's check other dimensions also so this is 25 okay now click close so we know that thickness of this handle is 2.5 mm it means mid surface will be generated at 1.25 okay so now let's generate the mid surface so here you need to go to option of mid surface here uh, first i will go to this option of topo select classic again in the mesh select classic go to this topo now there are two ways of generating the mid surface one is by manual method second one is automatic method so first let's understand the manual method this manual method is of offsetting the surface here you will see offset hold down the left click onto this offset or click on this arrow you will see faces link or cons so right now we are going to offset the face so click on this face here so you need to hold down the left click of the mouse and then leave at this faces right now it is showing select face so we need to select complete face now we can select top face or bottom face depend upon our choice but here you can see from the top the flat is much better you will get much better fillet profile from the top so we will select the top faces so let's select top faces if you go to this entity you can select it one by one so rather than this we will go to this feature option select any value let's say 40 degree and pick up the surface so you can see all the top surface is selected okay then hit the roller of the mouse now you can see this arrow is going upward so it means you need to put negative value because we want surface at downward direction put in negative 1.25 and click okay now whether we want to delete original surfaces i will say no so here you can see a red edge will appear it means it has created a surface but right now this surface is also created the in the same pid go to part id here you can see fillet so what i do i will create one more pid go to new shell shell so this is our mid let's say i will give it name mid and okay so i want to move this mid surface into this mid pid so for this what uh, we have to do is let me hide this top surface so go to minus option here select entity pick up this and you can see the top surface is hidden now and i can also hide uh, this circular section also to have a better view hide this hide this now this face is this red color edge one highlighting here is our mid surface so what i do i will go to set pid or what i do better i will go to this mesh i will select set pid here okay it is asking me to select faces so what i do i will select feature area 
select this face so that all of the face will be selected here you can see it is highlighting hit the roller select this mid file or mid pid and again hit roller or click ok now close so with this you can see the color of the part has changed you have to select pid from here now if i go to mid select mid right click show only and close this you can see this is all mid surface you can see right now uh, the graphics are not much better for this what i do i will go to this length option and let's say i will select perimeter hold down the left click of the mouse drag it make sure all of the model is selected then hit the roller right now default length is 20 i will make it let's say 5 and ok click close now you can see graphics has improved you will see these circular sections are not proper so this is basically only due to the graphics in reality it is a circle if you go to this top over let's say i will go to fine option once I click on click on this uh, fine multiple times you can see this is only graphics problem okay and you can see how the mid surface has been generated if i show this with the uh, our cad i will show this and as you you will see it is at the exact mid face okay now one more thing i will show you here is let's say i will hide this 3d and show only 2d let's say i will mesh this to create the mesh what uh, before that what i do i will once again go to length make sure everything is 5 because we have used the fine option because of that the length will change i want 5 value and ok so i will create a rough mesh for this you need to go to this mesh option go to mesh generation and here let's say i will go to best and here uh, select mixed best click on visible so this is a very rough mesh we will learn about all these commands of generating mesh in a much detailed lectures later in the course but now just let's create a rough mesh and i will once again click on this arrow now you can see a mesh has been created so now go to pid go to this mid you can see right now the thickness that is applied here is one i will make right click edit total thickness we know is 2.5 so insert value 2.5 and ok now i want to see the proper thickness of the mesh for this we need to go to this option of quality criteria or we can press f11 as shortcut and then go to representation parameter click on this option draw shell as solid click ok with this our shell element will be shown as solid so don't worry about this because these are just for representation here now let's turn on our cad turn on cad here and close you can see our mid surface is proper because you can see it is covering the proper surface if i change the value of thickness here let's say for example right click edit let's say i will insert value 3 click ok then what will happen you can see this th thickness will go outside our cad you can see this green color is our cad let's say i will select e entity entity here it will show properly now you can see it means the thickness is not proper okay so in this way you can extract mid surfaces by manual method but uh, this method fails whenever we have any complex geometry for example let's say i will once again select this option i will uncheck on this draw solid and okay now click on file click on new discard this go to your mid surface folder open this file clip 2 so select this file and pick and drag now here you will see i want to open up a new file click discard now you can see it is a little bit more complex geometry because it is a clip 
now when you want to use the offset option here you if you go to option of offset and faces now selecting a proper surface is very difficult here you can see when i select this face you can see it is top face from here if i go to pid you can see properly right now it is selecting top face but here it is selecting bottom face so in this type of complex geometry this manual method does not work properly you have to do a lot of work manually so rather than wasting our time here we have one more direct option that is mid surface here so in upcoming lecture we will learn about these options so here if you go to this option you will have multiple option here but mostly we will use skin option so we will continue in the next lecture